you have written a research paper and now you want to get it published but you do not know where to publish it and you do not know which of the 30,000 scientific journals will be suitable for your work. Also, how to avoid or reduce the chances of rejection. In this video, I am going to share with you some of the useful criteria to be considered while shortlisting a journal and ways to find the right journal for your paper to increase its chances of publication. So first, let's quickly see what should be the general criteria for shortlisting a suitable journal. The first thing to remember is always choose index journal for publishing your article. This is because they are approved by scientific community and are of high quality. You may check if the journal is indexed or not at the journal homepage or using the link given in the description. Next thing you should consider is choosing a peer-reviewed journal. This is because peer-reviewed journals send your paper to be reviewed or checked by competing professors and scientists for its scientific quality, competence and limitations. Based on this, your paper might be accepted, rejected or sent back to you for further improvements. Papers in peer-reviewed journals are considered to be scientifically authentic. Subjournals offers you to choose between open access or non-open access. Papers published in the open access journals generally have more citations as they can be accessed freely by the readers without paying a subscription fee or article fee. But at the same time, the authors have to pay a heavy publication fee also known as article publication charges or APCs for it once the paper is published. The fee varies from publisher to publisher and also depends upon the article type. Sometimes the journal waives off the fee if requested in advance. Always stay away from predatory journals. These are the journals that calls for papers and mostly accepts your paper for publication by paying some amount but they lack peer review process. It is essential as well as good to have your paper reviewed by competing scientists and professors. This will increase the trustworthiness of your research. Always check the reliability and the trustworthiness of the journal or the publisher. Many a times we receive emails to get our articles published quickly by paying some money. Do not fall prey to such emails. There should be full transparency about the indexation, editorial board information, contact details, review process to consider them for publication. You can also check the journal ranking or the SJR. You can filter the journals based on the subject areas and then find the top ranking journals. Number of citations and H index may also be considered while selecting a journal. The link to check the journal ranking at the SGR is given in the description. Another criteria is the impact factor, which also reflects the quality of the journal based on number of citations it receives. Most selection committees consider impact factor as a criteria to judge you and your research. Therefore, researchers want to get their papers published in high impact journals. Now let's see how to be more specific in selecting a journal relevant to your paper. Check if the scope of the shortlisted journal matches your research paper or review you want to publish. At the journal homepage, you will find details about its scope, relevant subject areas that journal usually anticipates from users. For example, here you see scope of plant physiology journal. The journal accepts paper of subjects plant biology. Suitable biochemical, genetic, bioinformatics, cellular aspects are covered under this. Sometimes, journals also mention what topics are discouraged by them. Even after reading the scope of the journal, if you have doubts, you can refer some of the recently published papers of similar topic or subject area and type of research they did. If you find any similarity, you may give it a try. Check time for the review process. Once you upload your paper to a journal, you may want to know how much time it will take to get it reviewed, accepted and published. You do not want to wait for years to get your article published, right? So check at the journal's page how much time it will take from submission to its first response or decision and also the time it takes till acceptance. For example, Plant Physiology Journal takes around 2.6 weeks for its first decision on your paper. Usually this time is around 2 to 4 weeks, but it varies from journal to journal. If it is not mentioned there, you may refer some of the previously published paper of that journal to determine the time it took. 
so roughly it took around two months for the paper to got accepted which is a good time you may also consult your associates or supervisor about the journals that publish the content similar to your work make a priority wise list of few journals that publishes the research suitable for your work this way if one journal returns your paper you know which one to target next it will save a lot of time you may also use journal finder or suggester by valle elsewhere springer and other publishers to find a suitable journal for publishing your paper all you have to do is just fill in the details such as the title keywords and abstract of your paper the field of research and the tool will suggest appropriate journals for you always follow the submission guidelines see if there is any length constraint to the manuscript have quality figures avoid plagiarism as this would straightforwardly invite rejection you can watch my video on best software to check plagiarism and how to avoid it format the references according to the guidelines of the journal write a strong cover letter to compel the editor to get it reviewed if you want to learn more about how to write a cover letter to the editor for a research article publication do mention the comments below if you find this video useful do like and share with others mention in the comments about the challenges you face in research i will try to address them in my coming videos Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. Thanks for watching and see you soon in my next video.